a wee bit higher, I'll call this one as well. So. Yes, this one. I haven't written it down. It's 46. I have written it down. I remember writing it down. I've not put it there. I, ha I must have got distracted. 46. It's 46. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I not seeing it? It's because I've seen it on the wee ball. I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, it's not on there, but that's fine. Uh, and a wee bit higher in alcohol, this one is Yeah, it? 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey... And are not a snob... Subscribe! subscribe. Um, we are trying all Irish whiskies all of March. Um, and so we have another Irish whiskey to taste today. Yes, what are we what are we trying? We are trying Middleton Barry Crockett Legacy. Oh do you know who Barry Crockett was? So Barry Crockett is a second generation master distiller of Middleton Distillery where this is made. Ah, is he still No, he's he, not still working there. I think he's still working there. He's still there. working there. Yeah, I think so. Oh that's a treat, because usually it's when you're dead they do that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, they've stopped that. I don't know. There's some places do yeah, do, that do more of that now. Like they'll they'll do like a, a I know Aaron distillery did like each of the employees so would did. do like pick their own dram kind of thing. Yep. Yep. Um so I don't know if that's I'm sure I'm sure he's still I'm, you're, you're right, I'm yeah. sure he's still there. Um I so Middleton is the crew that are making lots of Irish whiskey. Yeah, so Middleton was actually one of only two Irish distilleries for a while. Right. Um so they were making loads of different whiskies. It's mm -hmm. not the same as here where you kind of have one distillery that makes one whiskey and then another distillery makes its other own whiskey. Um some distilleries will produce lots of whiskey under different names. Yeah. Um, and so Middleton was one of the only ones. Um, it's owned by Irish distillers, right, which okay. is owned by Pernod Ricard, so it's one of the big ones. Um, but yeah, so it's it makes lots of different whiskies, including Jameson, Redbreast, Green Spot, um, and yeah, this one is a kind of it's a bit of a tribute to the master distiller, I think. Mm, nice. um, this is a blend of so it's not a blend in the sense of like a Scottish whiskey blend. It's a blend of different um pot still whiskies made at the distillery. The um, smell is lovely. Yeah, it's got something savoury about it. The, the smell actually reminds me of the LBG Macmira. Oh it's got a bit of that pineapple we kinda, tang about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, like tinned pineapple. To me that's something like like a it's not like a flavour you'd get in a curry or something. Like a chutney. A sweet Yes, thing. yes, like a chutney. Like a pineapple mango chutney. Yeah. With some kind of like... Coriander or herby thing. Something in seed in it. Like... Mm. Maybe like a mustard seed or something? Mm, I get what you mean. A, a seedy... A seedy element. A seedy spice. Um, yeah, so this is, again, malted and unmalted barley. Um, and this is all bourbon cask. Oh, that makes sense why it's a wee bit more tropical kind of smelling. Yeah, so the first two that we've tried so far are bourbon and sherry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this is all bourbon. So this will be the first Irish whiskey that we're trying that's all in bourbon cask. Do you know how old? No, I'm no. guessing a mixture of different ages okay. again. And a wee bit higher, I'll call this one as well. Yeah, 46% this one. Nice, so, cool. Um, I'm guessing unchill filtered. You can see the legs on it actually compared to the other two. Oh gosh, I almost swished that out of the glass there. Oh, I came back oh, in. don't lose any. Oh. came back in. Now look, it went, oh, oh. Oh, couldn't do that again if I tried. That smells lovely. I see what you mean about pineapple. Oh, That's gonna that be a mess. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Oh. <laughs> That's how I smelled it. That smells yeah. lovely. Fresh pineapple, I love that. Mm. Like, um, uh, um, if a pineapple tree has leaves, <laughs> that yeah, sort of smells. Yeah, it must like. do. It it's must got do. Palms, does it? It's a tree. They don't just have fruit. Yeah, otherwise they couldn't photosynthesize. Oh, there you go. See, I didn't even know why that would be. I just thought it would look weird. <laughs> yeah. You've got to have leaves if you're a tree. Should we try him? Yes. Let's try this on. Slange. Mmm. 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 Oh, I really like that. Mmm. Wee oh. bit hot, though. Oh, I love that. Mm, a wee bit hot from it. Oh, I really like that. I don't, um, it tastes like uh, caramelised pineapples. It does. But, like... All the pineapple flavours first and then the caramelised is after. Oh no, I'm getting like almost like as if it's got a wee bit of chilli on it or something. Really? Oh! Yeah, I'm a wee bit of heat. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Like, um, barbecued pineapple 
that's been barbecued with brown sugar and a wee, wee, wee mm -hmm. sprinkling of chilli at the end. Yeah. Like chilli flakes. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. That's my favourite of the ones we've tried so far by far. So far by far. By far by far. <laughs> uh, no, my favourite's still the green spot. I think. Is it? Yeah. Uh, Should I get the official tasting notes for yeah, this one actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, elegant aroma of vanilla and toasted oak. Uh, complemented by a touch of lime, succulent green berries, pears and green sweet pepper. Oh, green sweet pepper is a good shout. Yes, I agree with that. Um, and then the taste is light pepper carries on to fresh citrus, limes and mandarin orange sweetness. Hint of cinnamon with vanilla and oak reveals its years spent in American oak. Mm. It's quite oaky. I, get, I agree with the oak. I agree with like the earthiness of the lime. I could get a mandarin from that. I could mm -hmm. get a mandarin. I think you're finding it more fruity than I am. I'm finding that very fruity. I'm getting more of like the earthy and the spice, I think, mm -hmm. and the woodiness. Well, quite like that one as well. I'm liking really, Irish whiskey really so like far. It's an education. My favourite of the of the ones we've tried mm. so far. Definitely, definitely, really like that one. Um, join us again next time. We're going to be trying the Powers John's Lane. Oh, cool! Perfect. Great. I'm excited. Join us next time. Cheers. Slash. Thank you for joining us, we hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time, Slange. Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say. Things are going uh. wrong. Right?